Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about Nasir Adderley, uh, the defensive safety out of Delaware. If you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's get to his production data. So first off, uh, he had an 89.52 uh, solo tackle score, a 78.52 interception score, and a 94.92 pass deflection score. Based on all of his data, he doesn't quite hit all the all-pro career thresholds in terms of his interception data and his pass deflection data. But he does hit all the Pro Bowl thresholds at the position. And when you look at the averages at the free safety position, his averages line up more with a starter to Pro Bowl type player than a all-pro player. But this is still a decent profile. The biggest question mark with Nasir, who I'm going to call Nas right now, I don't know if he gets called Nas or not, but whatever, is that his data is at a lower level competition you know it's at delaware so most of the time when it comes to players who come from lower level division they need to be extremely productive like more productive than regular like at the fbs level uh to become a starter you know there's a lot of times when you have a guy who plays at delaware or at iowa international college of technology or whatever and to become anything in the NFL level, a lot of times they have to be like 90, 90 percentile in every single metric in terms of their production data. Um, and that's just the way it is at that level. Uh, and it makes sense because if you're playing against lesser competition, you need to be overcompensating for that uh, based on your production data. Adderley is, I think, in that good range. You know, I think there is a chance he, he can become a starter based on this profile. I think high quality outcomes are definitely going to be questionable. How he tests will be a big, big thing because I remember there was a, uh, a safety a little while ago uh, and I forgot his name, but he was someone that everybody was hyping up and, and like, yeah, this is a guy, day two lock and all this stuff. And then he went to the combine and ran 471. So like you have to wait on a lot of different stuff like this. Ultimately though, this is not a bad profile. This is someone that I think does have a chance to become something in the NFL level. Um, but I do think that you have to pump your brakes in terms of putting him in the first round or put him in day two automatically because you have to wait on a lot of information to come in about him. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.